I've had a lot of people ask me why I ride motorcycles. So them being obviously so dangerous, why do I ride motorcycles? And I thought that maybe this would be a good topic for a video to kind of cover some bases for you guys. I'm Alex, if you don't already know me, and this is gonna be a video about why I, and most of the people I know, ride motorcycles. So, before we even get started with this, um, if you're a motorcycle enthusiast, or if you're thinking about being one or anything, there is an absolutely kick-ass documentary. Matter of fact, me and a whole bunch of my buddies went and rode in the snow to go see a screening of this documentary. It's called Why We Ride, and it's absolutely incredible. So if you love motorcycles, or you think you might love motorcycles, or you just want to see a really comprehensive, like, awesome documentary on the same subject, go pick up a copy of Why We Ride. I think you can probably still get it on Amazon and everything like that. I've got a copy of it fantastic so why the hell do we ride motorcycles these things only have two wheels on them people get hurt on them I personally have wrecked a couple of motorcycles why do we insist on doing this dangerous thing and riding motorcycles well there's a lot of different reasons some people ride motorcycles for the pure thrill of it and seeing how hard they can hit a corner Some people ride motorcycles for the social aspect of it. You know, when you start riding motorcycles, you ride with other people. There are very few things you can do in this world that give you the same sense of community and family and togetherness as riding motorcycles with a group of like-minded people. So some people do it for that. Some people do it just purely for the, the connectedness and the social aspect of it and the sense of belonging that comes with it. Some people do it for transportation. I mean, motorcycles get awesome gas mileage. You know, when I first got into motorcycles, I actually got into it back in 2008 because gas back home was $5 a gallon. And I couldn't afford to drive my truck to work. So I got a little motorcycle that got 60 miles to the gallon. And then it became an addiction after that almost. You know, I got into it for gas mileage, and here I am. I've got six bikes, and I work in the motorcycle business now. So there's a lot of different reasons for that. Some people do it for the gas mileage. You know, touring motorcycles, people take great big long trips on them. And I'll tell you what, you can see a lot more and feel like you're much more connected with your surroundings and much more immersed in any environment if you see it on a motorcycle. On two wheels without a car around you, you are forced to be in and around and among whatever you're riding around. So you take a trip from one side of the country to the other, you're going to experience things on a much better and much deeper and more personal close-up level. He said, son, have you seen the world? On a motorcycle than you will in a car or anything else like that. Um, same reason people take bicycling trips. You know, I've read books where, you know, my favorite drummer, Neil Peart, he took bicycling trips to Africa because he could see things much better, he could be immersed in the people and the culture and everything much better on the back of a bicycle, same with a motorcycle. So some people do it for that. It's all of those reasons, guys. I ride motorcycles for all of those reasons and more. Motorcycling for me, and for a lot of the people that I know that ride motorcycles, is not so much a mode of transportation as it is a lifestyle. Uh, once you really become into motorcycles, they become a part of you and it becomes very difficult to even think about the concept of not having motorcycles and not riding motorcycles anymore. Uh, and we are willing to take the inherent risks involved in riding motorcycles in exchange for the freedom and the therapy and the zen that is riding motorcycles. Riding motorcycles and finding a nice back road that's quiet, that's pretty, that's twisty and turny that you can just ride. I put headphones in and I just get into my zone there, guys. It is an absolute freedom and balance and, and therapeutic zen. Motorcycling is my therapy. When I have to drive to work all the time, I am an angry bastard. If I get to ride my motorcycle all the time, I am much better off. So that's why we ride motorcycles, guys. It's dangerous, we know it's dangerous. I've had friends of mine get hurt. I have had people that I know get killed, okay? But, to us, to me, to most riders, what you gain from it is well worth the risks. I would rather die on a motorcycle than never have experienced it. That's why I ride motorcycles. If you get a chance to, pick up that documentary. It's called Why We Ride. 
It was badass enough that we rode to see it in the snow, okay? Take it easy, guys. He said, son, have you seen the world? Well, what would you say if I said that you could?